everybody, I'm back for another video, and it is not going to be a short video, it's going to be a long video, and I will kind of condense it, there'll be some sped up stuff, there'll be some stuff with a voiceover, and hopefully we'll be able to get through everything that we have here. So, as you can see here, I have some items from the Arteza, or Arteza company. I was contacted by them a few weeks ago. Um, they wanted me to take a look at a few of their items, and to give you guys um, sort of like an unboxing, and some sort of a review of the items. Now everyone knows me as being a person that uh, does lots with colored pencils and watercolors and that type of stuff. Um, I have done very little with acrylic paints. Um, I would say the last time I did anything with like acry a real acrylic paints was when I was in junior high and high school. Um, so they've been a medium that has not really been in my um, arsenal. And I do have only one set of acrylic paints, and those are the Jane Davenport. I have all of her sets. One of the reasons why I chose the acrylic paints is I wanted to get into acrylics a little bit more, and I am taking Mindy Lacefield's new class that is just released on the day that I'm filming this, on Monday, June 17th, and it's Find Your Girl. Let's take a quick look to see what all they sent me. So, let's take a look at this box first, since it's the closest one I have here. This says the 60 Acrylic Colors Premium. So there are 60 colors here. Everything from titanium white, to silvers and grays. And one thing that I love is they give you a swatch, you know, a printout of the color, the number A101, titanium white, and then they also have the light fastness, and then they also have the transparency, how opaque it is going to be. Um, so, and they also give you the a uh, pigment number. So like uh, yellow ochre, PY42. Gold is a uh, mica. So I wonder if the gold is the same that's in the metallic. So let's take a look and see. All I did was take the plastic off of these. And, <gasps> ooh, I just bumped our light, I'm sorry. Let me turn these around. <laughs> So, you can see, I wondered how they would be organized in this box, that we have some beautiful tubes on these plastic, oh, hold it so they don't, these plastic, it's a real wonderful way to organize all of these colors. So this one has ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, cobalt blue all the blues. Here's the yellows and whites. One, two. Here's some more. Ah! And they're just, you know, in their... There we go. Now, you might be thinking, well, why did you get 60 colors? They do offer a couple of varieties of sets. They offer a 12, they offer a 24, a 36, a 48, and then the 60. Um, the reason I requested the 60 is, first of all, I'm, I haven't really done anything with acrylic paints. And yes, you can blend. The only thing is, I don't know how good I will be at that, <laughs> as I have not worked with acrylics in such a long time. So, these are all of the colors, and what I will do is I will insert some footage of me swatching these paints. So you can see here, it is a, it says Arteza Acid-Free Spira Bound, ideal for wet and dry media, 60 sheets, mixed media pad, premium. And the page size is 11 by 14, and it is 110 pound paper, 
which is wonderful. And you can see that's a huge piece of paper. And I'm not sure if you can see, but each page, if you look right here, is perforated. So if you wanted to do something in here and then say you liked it and you wanted to give it away or to frame it, so this would be the page that we use for swatching our wonderful acrylics. So I have two of these books, which is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to have. These were what I had asked for, were for the, uh, the acrylics, but Anna said she wanted to send me as well the 36 metallic acrylics. And again, you can see we have the same information, the color, the pigment number, the light fast, um, and most of them have, you can see mica, M-I-C-A. Mica is what gives it that kind of pearly, uh, reflective quality. I'm going to do some swatching on this piece of paper of the 60 acrylics, and then I want to get out my jelly plate and let's we're, what we'll do is we'll create some backgrounds some backgrounds that you can use um on uh in a journal in a piece of paper on a piece of paper that you can tip into a journal um so we'll do some fun stuff with our jelly plates and our brayer okay so keep watching titanium white which of course you can't see so in this section, you're going to see lots of swatches. And I didn't mention, but there are 22 mils in here, or 0.74 US fluid ounces, which is actually quite a lot of paint for the amount of colors that you have here. And um, at the time of filming, you can get these on the uh, Arteza webpage, which I will list below for $39.99. You can also get them through Amazon. And um, I will have a link where you can go to Arteza and get a little bit of a discount. Okay, so this is Yellow Pale. So here I start swatching the colors. I started with titanium white, yellow pale, lemon yellow, and worked my way through uh, most of the yellows. And I even got to the first metallic that is in this set. There are a couple of metallics. Uh, there's the beautiful gold, which I will show you in just a little bit. I think that's the, is that the gold? It's kind of hard to see. No, that's not the gold, that's the yellow ochre. The gold will be the next one, and I will you know, bring it up to the camera so you can uh, take a, a little look at how shiny that really is. And it's quite nice, and it actually dries a little bit shinier too. Um, but I really like these acrylic paints. I, like I said, I haven't used them since I was in junior high and in high school. And so blending and mixing all the various colors is something that I'm not sure I would do quite well. Um, so that's why I'm so glad I was able to get this 60 set of colors because you know, there's so many yellows and oranges and reds and greens. And um, one thing that would be nice if there were a couple of more purples, because there's only like a mauve pale and then a violet. And I know you can take the different blues and mix them with reds and get purples. But um, if since they have so many oranges and reds and greens and blues, a, a couple of more purples might be kind of nice. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more swatching, and I will pause this because my battery's going to die or I'm going to run out of space. Okay, we'll be back. So, I have finished the first 
page of swatches, which was 30 of the acrylics. And I got all the way through phthalo blue. Okay, and I'll do some more filming and we'll be back. I have no idea why I said that. Um, <laughs> so on this page, I started with ultramarine blue and then worked my way all the way to silver. And you can really see how beautiful the variation in the blues and greens are. They're just really nice colors. And here we are getting towards the last few, gray, cold gray, and silver. I think that one is the shiny, 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 shiny silver. And here I'm just showing you a quick look at the colors and how they look on the paper that was sent to me by Arteza. And actually I wrote over those lighter colors with a ballpoint pen. And then these ones I wrote next to them because the colors are just so dark. There I'm showing you the pearl deep brown, another one of the metallics. And then down here the silver is quite, quite, quite shiny as well and looks so pretty. And there's even a blue one that has a little bit of a sparkle that one right there. Now, here we are getting into our project. So the first thing that I decided to pull out was my jelly plate, and then I wanted to get some stencils. So I grabbed my Tim Holtz stencils from Ranger, and my stencils from uh, Dina Wakely. I also have some, you know, devices, a uh, little things to put shapes and marks in the, uh, I guess you could say, the, the, the paint that I put on the jelly plate. And I also have a couple of Jane Davenport paint brushes that I think will help. So here we're starting with just a couple of colors. Um, I had a couple of different blues and I had a really pretty pink. And now I'm just kind of mixing all of that around on the, on the jelly plate. And I'm also using to rub off the excess on a piece of paper. Now, I decided I wanted to try the Arteza paper, and so I place it down and try to put as even of pressure on the jelly plate. So this is the first time I've ever played with my jelly plate and my brayer, and we're just kind of experimenting. And let's see what we got. So that's just the first layer. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna do something else. So here I'm putting down what looks to be like a sky blue. Then I'm grabbing uh, one of the, that might be the um, titanium white again. And I'm just putting some color down and, you know, grabbing a brayer and, you know, mushing the paint around yeah that's titanium white and it's um i think that's the one of the magenta colors and just moving it around and seeing what happens and the paper that i'm wiping the excess off on is a kokuyo paper and it's really wonderful paper to use so i chose one of my dina wakely stencils and placed it on the jelly plate and then I grabbed just an old piece of paper that I had printed a June calendar that I didn't use this month. And I just wanted to test and see what happens. And look how beautiful that is. So then I decided to put some neon pink down. Kind of move it around and see what happens if I do one color at a time. And it's a really pretty pink. Very pretty pink. And then I kind of moved it around a little bit more and wiped it off. And then I decided let's put some Payne's gray, something that looks like a smoky gray black kind of move that around. And it's actually a really dark, it's that Payne's gray is so dark it looks black. And then I took just the actual color that's called pink. And I thought, well, that would be a nice lighter more neutral color to use and kind of smush that around 
And then I have two scraps of the paper from uh, the pad. And I want to turn these into bookmarks or I want to turn them into um, so like a, a tag that I can put inside of my journal or in my planner and just kind of see what happens with them. And so I'm just making sure that I'm getting as much of that paint on the paper as possible. And then you can see there's still a little bit of paint left on the jelly plate. So I decide to get as much of it as I can onto another piece of paper, which I can then maybe do something else with. Um, you know, I could add more colors to it, or I could use it as a background for one of my pieces of art that I do. And that's, that one turned out really nice. And so I decided to go with some different colors. So I grabbed a couple of different yellows. I think that's the lemon yellow. Then I grabbed some orange yellow. And then I wanted to go with one of the me metallics, like the, the mica. So that is gold to see what it does. Now, the first thing you can see is these colors are so vibrant. That orange yellow and that lemon yellow, just beautiful. Now I have a piece of the multimedia paper and I'm going to rub it to see if I can get as much of that paint on there and look how beautiful that is. And there's still some left over so I can put that on a blank piece of paper, that's the Kokuyo paper, and you know get as much of that paint off so I can use it for something in the future. And that one looked, turned out really pretty too. So now we're taking some blues. It's a really pretty blue. That is the uh, sky blue actually. And then I took one of the browns and I can't remember that one might be the Van Dyke brown. Neon pink. <laughs> Courtney, this color is for you chose the neon pink because of Courtney Diaz. That's one of her favorite colors. And of course I, oops, moved my <laughs> jelly plate a little bit. Um, but there's the neon pink. Look how vibrant that is. Then I chose a couple of the tools to get out to use and just kind of see what they do with the, the jelly plate. And I know they're removing paint in places. Um, and then also what I noted is you could feel the texture on the Kokuyo paper because it was so thin. And here I am peeling it off and look how beautiful that is. Now, since there was still a little bit of that blue, uh, brown and pink on there, I decided to put a little bit of titanium white down and kind of see if what I could do with that. And so I decided to grab some black paper and it's actually a black cardstock that I use for the inserts that I make and look how beautiful they look on that wonderful paper. Now here are just a few of the samples of the things that I have done so far and so I'm putting some silver and a couple of different colors just to try and blend some more stuff. I even think I added a little bit of gold and there's the brayer kind of just moving everything around. Actually, I think all three of those colors are one of the metallics and they look really beautiful. So then I grabbed one of my stencils and I just wanted to see what it would do uh, if I laid another piece of artwork that had some of the bright neons and how it would affect the, the, the metallics and look how beautiful that is. It's really pretty. And then I took the stencil off and wanted to put the rest of it on the, the black paper that had a lot of white, the titanium white paint on it. And let's see what that looks like when we're done. And here's the reveal. That looks beautiful on black paper. And here's just a few of the things that I have done with those paints. And I'm putting some more neon pink. Uh, Courtney is definitely influenced here. Um, that is just the regular pink. And now I'm adding silver, a little boop, 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 around the jelly plate. And that's the magenta light. And I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit to 
uh, that other little bookmark. But I also put a lot of this on a piece of the Kokuyo paper, which you can see right here. There you go. Let me put that down. You can see I wiped a lot of that off on that piece of Tom Tomoe River paper to the side. And that is very pretty. And then I still have a lot left, and I'm going to put that on that card. And so I'm deciding where to place it so I can get as much of that ink up as I possibly can. And that added some interesting things to it. I'm not sure that's what I wanted, but it, it's, it's done. So there you go. And that's something that's nice about the jelly plate. And then I decided to grab another piece of paper and see if I can get some more of that leftover paint on to something and see what we can make out of that. And let's see what that looks like. Well, so here are some close-ups of some of the pieces that I made. Those I think I'm going to make into tags or bookmarks for my journal. And this one is really pretty, and I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. This one I loved. If you use your stencils, you can do amazing things. And look at the beautiful blend of the silvers and the pinks. And here's the one that has a little bit of the black in it. I'm just really loving these paints. So if you want to find out more information about these acrylic paints uh, and other supplies that Arteza makes, please check the links down below. There's also a link where you can use my coupon code to get 10% off your order. And just one more thanks to Arteza for sending me these. And be on the lookout for a video where I use only the metallics. And that is going to be so much fun to see what they look like on dark paper. I will show them on white, but dark paper as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!